What? Yeah, we've got some like very like urgent news for you. Very urgent. Um, the one you call Joe has been kidnapped. Ah, and we think it might be because of a bo the ball blacks again. But we wiped them out. Ages ago. I'm sorry. There has to be a logical explanation. Well, can we have this? before it's only the first episode Steve come on let's tear down this wall <laughs> five hours later uh, yay we did it come on guys let's go in now what do you think you are doing <laughs> I'm gonna eat this pig man and you can't stop me. <laughs> what ha ha? Although you don't taste my shit. <laughs> hey, how did you do that? You like run in my mouth but I didn't eat you. It's because of my awesome strength. See you don't know that, but well, I am a robotic plus. So am I. And so are we. But he's organic. So I can eat him. Oh, no, you won't. Come on, guys. Ow. Oh. Hey, what's that rumbling sound? Stay. Stay tuned for next episode. The rumbling sound have, has got worse than before. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, I know what that is. Um, that is a boring snag, but we fought those before. Yeah, aren't those guys like on the ground or something? Ha ha ha, I'm a boring snag, but now I'm going to peck at you. What do we, why do people have against me? Too bad, I'm going to eat you. No, you're not. Take, taste the power of pig and I will reject. Oh, it looks like that didn't work. Well, it looks like we're going to have to call for our last resort. Come on, guys, abandon and <laughs> Yay! We defeated him! And um, it looks like it has been done, but we might never know if the enemy should await us next. And first of all, what are we going to do with all this land? All this land? Uh, I've got an idea, Steve. What is it? Steve is a trooper! I know, but... What was that idea? Steve is a... You said it. Um, the idea was that we could build some land over this valley so we could live here forever and like plant food and all that stuff and we could like have shelter. That is so brilliant. And who knows what more people we could meet. Yeah, that's a good point there. It's an excellent point. Today for the trooper! Oh, please excuse. Um, pick, pick. Seems like crazy. Hey, can I, can I, hey, hey. Hey, you there. What? Can I eat your nose? What? It smells like coffee and I really love coffee. Too bad you can't eat my nose. I'll die if you eat it because it's part of my body. If you don't already know. I am so muscular! Ow! Ow! Uh, ow! Uh. Right! Well, it looks like this is the end of the...
deep as a trooper. I said, well, pardon me for that, but it looks like this is the end of the episode for today. But next episode, we'll build some land over this valley and we might meet some more people. Stay tuned. P.S. Steve is a trumper. Bye. Do, 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 do. Steve, Steve. What? Look at that over there. Oh my gosh. Um, the ball ball and I love a ball ball. The snuggled and this guy are sleeping. The guy in the middle is called to mama. Yeah, I know, but Steve, we've got more business to tell you. What? Your long lost brother was done, but never mind about that. We've built some land over this valley, like, like was promised. Good! Well, let's see over to these guys then. Oh, I'm going to sleep. Now, no one disturbs them. I'm going to eat. Oh, wake up, guys! What the? Oh, nice going, Pig Pig. Now, now they're all awake. Oh, hey, hey, woke us up. Come on, let's go. Guys, abandon bomb. Yay! We destroyed that guy. Like we said, we destroyed him. Now to take care of this one. And oh, oh, what the heck? Oh. taking care of all of them but the burrowing snagrat burrowing snagrat he's still not woken up maybe he's a little bit like sleepy today i don't know this is your brother noah uh brother he's still oh, he's still not awake yet i know what we should do we should investigate we should tear it off I'm gonna find out. Wake up and wake up, and wake snug. What? <laughs> what the? <laughs> no, stay back. With what are you? I am a gruffler. And what are you doing in the snuggies cave? So you don't kill me. I, we're not going to kill you. We only kill bad guys. All right. So don't worry. We won't kill you because we. Let's see, are you friendly? Are you friendly? Yes. Then come and join us there. We've got a new member on our team. Yay! Steve is a trooper. Get you for that. Oh, oh, what the? You must get the two. Several hours later, 
Okay, we'll stop fighting. Oh, and if I knew you were us. Okay, if I'm muscular like you and you're muscular like me, then we can just get along. Ow, some of your spikes hit me on the back. Sorry. So, what do you think of our lunch? It's amazing. Oh, I thought Edge Edge was a better name. And I admit, I did like pick. I admit, I did like pick Hen Town. But we all agree on Trooper Village. That's the best name any city would have. Pick Street Avenue and the Pikmin Village are also good names. Trooper Village is the best name that any Pikmin owner has ever called a city like this. I really think so. Hmm. Hi, I'm Ed. You might remember me from Twig and Pick Pick. I'm also in this show too. I've just come for you and do and I've also got someone else with me to do the uh, to do the thing we do every time we have we are stop and see on the episode. Come on out. Um so anyway, this is a good fellow, like I said, and he's come and we've come to the other two. Well this is the end of t- today's Steve. This is the end of today's, today's Steve the Trumper episode. So, in the next episode, uh, what are we doing in the next episode again? We meet a robot. Yes. In the next episode, we meet a robot. We meet a robot that is called Computer Bot. I wonder what. I wonder what the robot would look like. We find him in a deserted place. Stay tuned. P.S. Steve is a trumper. P.P.S. Never. And I mean never. Attack a gruffalo. Bye. Do, 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 do. Hmm, that was a pretty good game I had yesterday. I agree. Now, I wonder where the Gruffalo is. I'm right here! Oh no, I'm hiding here. Wow, he is so gonna be good there. That looks like his ultimate hideout and it's right on top of your mansion. I know. Beep, 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 beep. What was that? Beep. Oh, what the heck? I am computer bot. Insert data disk to complete sentence. Okay. I am computer bot. And I am a robot. What is your name? Wait. Identifying the item. Identifying the type of species. Identifying plant. Identifying the great sh- gasp. The the great Steve, the great Pikmin warrior, has been spotted. He is the god of all Pygmy and researching in my data's hard drive. That is it. Identifying 2012 Olympic mascot. Get a grip of yourself. Identifying punch. Please don't do that again. Identifying spine blast. Please don't do that again. That seriously hurt it. Get back up 
up and down and flipping yourself, identifying. That's it. We need him to talk normally. Well, what do? Let me handle this. Um, he's on robot. Why don't we set him to normal? Hi, my name is Computer Bot, and what is yours? I am Steve. Steve, you're the Great Pikmin Warrior. I know how awesome that is. So do I. Oh, by the way, we've get, we've had a new character in the game. Want to see him? Yes. He's right over there. Wow. Hi, I'm the cool fellow. I'm hiding out in my box. Wow. That is so great. I know how awesome it is. I agree. Certainly. I agree. I really do. Agree as well. Steve is a drop. He is most certainly a trooper. So where were you discovered? I was discovered not long ago in the deserted land. I had nowhere to live there and so I left. Where am I? Trooper Village. It used to be the valley. Once you enter this place you can't get back out. But don't worry, there's a lot of food here and there's a lot of other stuff too. But watch out for the bulbs, the snagrips and the tamaris. There's not more than one tamaris, Steve. Oh yeah, but whatever. I'm a gruffalo and should I come out? Yes, come out. I'm, I'm not going to come out because I'm hibernating. Hibernating? It, don't mammalians do that? Yes, but gruffalos do it too. They make it just to like, you know, mm, um, gruffalos do it, they just do it. It's part of their species. I know. Well, I am Noah. You might remember me. I am Steve's brother. And I have come to like chat about the end of the episode. This episode has been involved by computer bots versus hooks. Next episode we will the next episode Steve travels back in time and travels forward in time with a a slightly mad inventor frog called Doc Kermit Frog. Stay tuned from the past or the future. Either way, whatever of the thing of the past or the present or the future, stay tuned. Bye. Do do do. I'm exploring the place today because it seems like a nice day. Zeus, who are you? Well, I take it we've never met before. I'm a slightly mad inventor. Doc Kermit Frogleg. What you can call me, Doc. Um, Doc. Yes. Where are you from? I'm from the future. No, I'm from this present day. I can go into the past and into the future. You want to see it? Yes, take me. Okay, come on. You're going to the past with me. <laughs> Welcome to the past. The past. In the past, Gruffalos were haunted. like such a nice day I'm going to go out what's this boo attack oh. hey hey no Steve stomach no too bad come on old yellow let's bounce on him Ugh. Just, just, get, get him away oh get get out of the village you stupid gruff
our fellow. We never want to see your horrible species again. If we do, we'll hunt you like forever. Pikmin? Oh, I'm so sad now. I'm going to go back to my hole when I'm not wanted. Maybe I will be in the future. Ah, stupid guy. That is what Pikmin were like those days. With me around, they seem much nicer. And more good. Want to see the future? Okay. We're in the future! In the future? Um. In the future? Um. Pikmin will become the predators of Bulbobs. Really? Yes, that's in the future. Oh, I'm the really, I've can. Wow, that bulbub sure was tasty. I know how awesome it is to taste. It does taste delicious. I really, I miss that. Sunny, no custard. I admit that it tastes good and refreshing. Yes, I know. I do too. Bulbs taste so good. They taste, they taste like robotic plushes. You just don't eat the metal parts. You eat the skin. That tastes delicious. I'm gonna go. To go to sleep. Come on, let's go. So you see, that is what the. Let's bring it back to the present. We're back to the present. Jay, Steve, you're back. I can't believe it. I can't believe it too. Well, so this is safe to be but back with anyone else. I'm going to go back now. <laughs> Hi, guys. This is Steve Stormick, the famous godparent and ancestor of Steve the Trooper. I'm from the past, but I've come to tell you about the preview for the next episode. Anyway. The next episode, it's Steve's, it's my godson Steve's birthday. And everyone who is reading this better give him a present. Because if you do, you'll be haunt, you'll be hunted down like the Gruffalos. Stay tuned. P.S. Don't make friends with those Gruffalos, they are stupid. Bye for now. Maybe we'll bump ourselves into again in the future or in the past. But to see, we just have to go back in the past. Stay tuned. Bye. <laughs> Steve, Steve, I've got some very bad news to tell you. Um, what? Look over there. What? Hello. Who are you? I am Tamama, you slave. Yeah, I've come to tell you that I'm not your new lead. What? But that's impossible. You didn't sign up. Only Steve is a trooper. Not anymore. I won't be taking that stash off him. Good, because no one does that. But, you are all my like slaves now. And, um, you're going to do uh, slave stuff soon. Like, uh, I've just come to tell you that. Like, I'm just going to go now. Bye. So that means we're slaves. Great. It's not that great. What's the style again? Oh, we're slaves to a temple. <laughs> in that this goes on for several hours so several hours later oh that is so funny maybe the gruffalo will know what to do hey gruffalo what you woke me up 
stop during my hibernation. Do you know how to stop the, um, the new leader, Tamara? I have no idea what you're talking about. The only way for you to um, stop him is to is to get a group of people and have some backup with you as well to invade the facility. Well, it looks like we'll do that. Okay, so the people I'm going to pick are to come with me are Twig. Steve is a dropper! The rest of you will be back up. We'll call you if you need anything. I'm always back up. Hey Gruffalo, do you want to come with us too? Yeah, sure! Okay, you can be with me. The rest of you are back up, like I said. You two are as well, Wenlock and Mandeville. Yes, you finally called us by our true names. We've been waiting for like some of them. Okay. Oh, hold it. Oh my gosh. No, he's riding a large horse. It's a dog. What? 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 Um, I've just come to let you know that I'll pick him in our swift. You know that's so we're gonna fight the leader. Get my vein back. We're going to do it now and forever so that we don't become slaves. Okay, Wenlock and Mandeville, you you shall lead the backup group. I shall lead the um I shall lead my group. So come on then. Okay, step one is to free all the slaves. Uh, you're free! Alright! Step two. Step two is to, to clear down the gates that are blocking our path. Hey you guys, we we'll see you. Well I'm Tamara and you better not be plotting something. Better not be. Oh, well, we're going to invade and get our way back because um, apparently Tamara's done. And she's de he's defeated. But anyway, the news is, it's my birthday! And I've, and I've got some presents from the club and I've got some more books from everybody. And I want to thank you and I want to thank whoever made that sign. That sign looks amazing. I mean, I like how it says True Pavilion. That is just a classic. I'm still afraid it would say Pig Town or And I'm going to hibernate uh, like any time soon. I'm just going to like. <sighs> I'm going to go back in my hole and like hide. Steve, there's a drop! 
So, Steve, yes? I thought I had an idea for you. Um, <coughs> now do was the, I just saw a bulldog today that had hair. What did you say? Yes, that's why we had hair. And then episode three, I thought it was just an ordinary person. You know how boring this season is. Don't worry, it gets better during it. So it looks like we freed ourselves from slavery. That's a very good point. It's a very good thing to do. And yeah. I am the Gruffalo, clear the area. I am the Gruffalo and I am the Gruffalo and I'm going to tell you about the preview for next episode. Next episode. Um, next episode is a Halloween episode and we all go trick or treating. I know it's for young kids but insist we do it so that it makes sense. Stay tuned. P.S. Steve is a trooper. P. P. S. The, the um, London 2012 Olympic mascot will also be trick or treating. Stay tuned. Bye. And Boom! Do 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 What the heck is that? I'm coming! Who are you? Ha ha Happy Halloween guys! Oh! It's Halloween! I forgot about that! We scare you. Yeah, I guess you did. Yeah, but no, you can't scare me. <laughs> but maybe we're gonna go trick or treaters. Oh yes, we are. You're coming with us, mascots, aren't you? You called us by our name and said I thought well, but we're coming with you, yes. In our spare time we are, yes. Well, Go. Da 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 da. You got the costume ready, Steve? As if this is going to be the greatest costume I've ever seen. Okay, this is going to involve all of us. Okay. Um, one of you mascots is going to have to get it. I choose. Um, you can. You get in there, and now ah. Uh, now a blue Pikmin shall get there. No, I'm going. The Gruffalos are going first, and then the Gruffalo. You got the disguise ready? Why would I not have the disguise ready? What's the disguise? The two-faced mascot is a dis Halloween disguise and on the back of you sitting is the Gruffalo. Great, this means we're going to get spikes in our... It doesn't matter. All that matters is that we scare people. Cover the guys up. Never actually done this before. Trick or treating. You look absolutely amazing. We'll actually get away with slipping a white Pikmin down there with you. That's ready, so come on, let's trick or treat this house. 
knock knock. What? What? Wahaha! -ha. Never thought you'd expect it, would you? Ha ha! Trick or treat, trick or treat, guys. That was just a fake costume impression. That really scared me then. are going to be joined trick or treating tonight. Let's knock on Ed's house. Knock knock. I'm Ed and someone's at the door. Someone's at the door and I really like it and it's going to be like awesome. So I'm going to go. Hi guys. Trick or treat. I'm Ed that is like weird. It's scary. Are you in a costume? No, I'm a real living creature. I am Ed and... Ah! That's so scary. It really is scary. Everything's scary on Halloween. I know, but Gruffalo's are kind of scary actually on nature of ability we have to be scary and by the way i'm going to go hibernating now you thought ah that was just a joke so well it looks like that was a good old bang of a trick or treat we've had then oh, oh. That's not, that's really a ghost, guys. Ah, run, 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 run. Ah, ah, ah. This is supposed to be kind of a joke. While the other guys are out scaring, I bet I'll do the interview. No, it's the credits this time. The punies are awesome as Steve. My, my stash of the powerfulest things on the planet. As Twig. I am the son of Steve, and I f and I don't find it very funny. As Thorn, I shall not rule this world. As Pick Pick, can I eat your nose? As 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 Sonic. Oh my gosh, I've got to get my destiny for real. Joe, Steve is a trooper. Steve is a trooper. Steve is a trooper. As Bob. I'm not in this way that much. I am in the bit where they do abandon bomb. I am Ed and I'm here and I have been in a lot and I really like, I can say that I've liked it here. Muscular Merlin, I am so muscular! Ash, the ball ball. Meow, 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 Too bad, I'm going to eat you! Ah, oh, Bull Bob, oh, I'm going to eat your brain! Her mama. Well, you're all my slave, so I know I'm gonna have to do slave stuff like very soon. As Violet, I have a very intelligent brain. But you don't barely see me, you do in background, folks. Blossom, I'm Blossom the Big Big Man! Don't say this 
is a bit because it's not. Ash the Gruffalo. I'm going to get revenge on Steven Strike in the past, even if it takes me forever. Ash. Any authors. We have been in every episode. I can honestly say it's been good. Well, I have very much enjoyed being in this wonderful season and I've found it to be very, very good and enjoyable. We have all liked it, every single one of us, no lie. So, make sure to stay tuned for season two. I have found it wonderful and so have we, haven't we guys? Yes, we have all found it wonderful, every single one of us. Good guys, bad guys, all. We have all found it to be good. Every single one of us from head to toe. Even the weird guy, Pick Pick, have all found it to be very good and it Exciting, very exciting. We have all liked Fleur doing it, and we and we'd all like to thank the camera woman for it. We have all we'd like to thank everybody, including the creator Punisar also, who I am physic who is physically doing my voice right now. He does all our voices, Joe. Steve is a trooper. Hey, where is Steve? He's gone to fight the bull ball. Oh well. He I'm down here in the bull ball, but you don't have to look at me. I say it's been very good having me and my me and my staff as the main characters. I think it's very good this show. I like having it to be very good now. And I'm going to eat everybody's noses as soon as the camera, as soon as his credits are done. Just joking. I just have to say I've been in it a lot and I've liked it. Even though I haven't been in it as long as the mascot's behind. I have liked it very much. Because I like how the Pikmin are treating me very good now, unlike the horrible past. Hey! You forgot the guys near the sun and also we have loved being here in True Village we have loved it here we found it very good hey down there we all like to thank everyone down here as well yeah I think that it's the best name ever and series 2 is just like Okay guys, you can all go now, I'll do an interview. Hi, this is Punis, I watched him with my Gruffalo plus. I'm not actually doing the voice of a Gruffalo, but I'm going to use him as my save in the credits. Because I don't like him, because it's very rare that you even see my face. In fact, you only see it for like one second, but that was a mystical error. Anyway, I'd like to thank the camera woman for it very much, Anna. And yeah, but series two is coming. I will so so I'll pronounce it very soon. But this series is all going to be like as you. If you're watching this, everyone I'd like to thank. I'd like to thank everyone for the ideas. I'd like to thank London for creating the mascots. I'd like to thank Nintendo for creating Pikmin, and I'd like to thank the guy who made Sergeant Frog for creating Sergeant Frog, and I'd like to find thank the book depository people for creating the Gruffalo. Without that, half of the game wouldn't even be done. I'd also like to thank the Muppet for creating Kermit. He plays a very important role in the fifth episode, just to be with you. This credit, this is like, the only reason I'm doing it so long is that I can fill up the hour. It's like one hour on every season. That will make it fair. It 
good. You know what I mean. But anyway, I've loved doing this so seriously. I've had it done on a tie, but I'm thinking about putting it to YouTube. I don't know yet. I really don't know. I'll have to decide on that one later. A later time. But all I can say is that I thank everyone in who's watching this for like spending your time and hours just like watching this. You know, it's just so amazing how you have done it. You've helped me to have like 50 fans now. And it's so amazing. And I just got this Gruffalo Plus yesterday. Can you believe it? Yesterday. And he's played a lot of rocks. Not as much as those mascots. But it's still, still all good. And if you want to get a hold of the thing that I designed as the credits, you can look at it now. Yeah, you can look at it now. Well, I hope you've looked it up because I'm putting it down now. But Joe has obviously been named. A visit look, it's his famous catchphrase. He's been renamed the Steve Drop. Steve is a dropper guy because that catchphrase is so good. The only reason why he says it is because he respects Steve a lot, so he says he's a trooper because, well, he naturally is. He's just saying the truth because he respects him and he's just saying the truth about Steve, basically. Yep, I'd also like to thank, and also, also I've spent a lot of time working on this at least, I mean, I came up with the idea of Trooper Village uh, a long time ago, but I decided to film this so, so that I could watch it in my spare hours and make it go worldwide. But I've also created buildings, not very many, but as you can see over there, over there, is the, is a, that place there is the Gruffalo's Mountain. Buffalo's hideout and on, over there is underneath it is Steve's mansion. Inside that thing is my it's the Gruffalo's like hideout. He hibernates in there and he also hides from in hunters which were pigmen like in the past. If you haven't watched series 5, watch it now. It's on the video. So like I have a YouTube account and it's Kirby something and you might see me commenting on some Twig and Pick Pick videos that Pick and Jake made. He's one of my friends on YouTube. But anyway, if you series, if you can't wait for series two, it's coming. Okay, don't worry. Season two is coming. I've made a trailer for it and made a trailer for it and I've made a poster and it's got like and there will be a shark in it, an actual shark. I'm not going to tell you what his name is. You're going to have to wait for that. And there's also going to be a Cooper who gives you mail. That's gonna have to wait too. Uh, well, time to get up. Time to get up. Well, you have to get up. We have to go forward. I want peanut butter. So, oh, whatever. Let's just go forward now. Okay, well, let's see. First thing we've got to find is a picnic carrot right over there. The picnic carrot. Let's go over to it. Over to it. And here it is. Kind of nice. I'd like to have this picnic carrot, but as far as it eats it. Okay, let's not eat it. Let's take it. Let's just put it there. And let's we found the carrot. Let's move on. And we found this strawberry. But this, we found a strawberry. Looks gigantic. Okay, we found a strawberry for forest food. Let's try some. 
Okay, let's move on. Okay, it's very weird. We have to go across the village and find something, and we found a tomato. This feels good, just like my teacup. Whatever. Now, let's go over here, and we found another cabinet. Yeah, we found another cabinet. How amazing is that? Think of it. Okay, now let's move on. Okay. Oh, 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 what, what, what? And we found a banana! Let's see what I love Nom nom! And now we found a clown! Let's go over there to eat it! Nom 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 Okay. Wow, that was a good day of and everything. What about that strawberry we just found? Nice, huh? Hey, what's that smell? Peanut butter! Ah, shut up about peanut butter! Wispy, you know? Did you have some last night while I was asleep or what? Yes, but I want some more. Too bad. We don't get peanut butter in fruit. Peanut butter is not an ingredient in fruit, so you can't get it. Oh, too bad. Plus, you just can't. So you can't have peanut butter. Sometimes you stop asking me. But I want peanut butter. Okay, that's it. Just stop talking about it. Fine. Yeah, fine. Whatever. We've just, you know, we've been bit foraging and that's about it. Uh, well, time to get up. I can't get up. No, you have to get up. No! I just do oh. have to go go to the supermarket. I want peanut butter. So oh, you have to go shopping. But I hate shopping. Oh too bad, you just have to lump it, aren't you? Hey! What you doing in my house? Uh this is very... We can't drown in this water. Too bad it's not deep enough. Oh, great! Just get out! Duh! Duh! That was his problem. And don't come back! Ugh. Dear me, that guy's me. Hey, Wispy! Wispy, come on, you just passed the supermarket. No! I don't want to go, just come on, you're going to have to. Oh, hello, and welcome to the game store. Welcome to Game Shop. Uh, what do you want today? Peanut butter! I'm sorry, but this is a game shop. Y not the supermarket. Sagebridge. Oh, drat! Well, I thought this was a M Walmart, Steve. No, it's not a Walmart. Come on. Uh, if you're not wanting peanut butter, what do you want to buy today? We got Super Smash Brothers Brawl, we got the Trophy Snare, we got Angry Birds, we got Kirby's Epic Yarn, we got Kirby's Adventure, we got Plants vs Zombies, we got Angry Birds, we got Melly, we got Pikmin Fast New Duel, we got Pikmin 2, we got Pikmin 1, and millions of other games. What do you want? Um. We'll have some peanut butter. I'm sorry, but we don't sell. What do you think you're doing? You're not supposed to do that. Let me show you how it's done. Right. You, why did I even hire you in the first place? You're not fit to be working here. 
you're not fit for the video to employ it. Hey, I do my best. You don't want to mess with me. I used to be a star warrior. I still am. Too. Well, even though you are a star warrior, you're still working full time. And you're working here. The best of gave me a fight. And who are these people? They want some peanut butter. Go and get the peanut butter. But this is a game shop. Alright. I'm sorry, but we don't sell um, peanut butter here. But you'll just have to buy a game. Oh, I went, okay, we'll just take Kirby's Adventure. Okie dokie then. This is a good game. I played it myself. Here you go. Here's Kirby's. Hey, look! Where's B? We got the new Kirby's Adventure. Oh, <laughs> Where's B? Why are you sad? I wanted peanut butter! Oh, we got Kirby's Adventure! Oh, such a nice stand! Thank you! Come again! Oh, uh, you can come again. Right, come on, let's go! Take this do game home! Ah. Oh, we almost have that messed up! You need to do better, you're fired! Oh, go back into the office! Gosh, what was his problem? Uh, where are we? Steve, what? What? Uh, where are we? Okay, this looks suspicious. I'm... Hey, not my... Oh, No more, no more 
buffalo and spike. That's actually a good name for the return for now. There's no pet pick. We never survived five seconds if we weren't wearing the shutters. Thank goodness for the shutters powers. That gives me an idea. Yeah! Oh no, 
Boys Pikmin. This isn't right. Not supposed to be a Boys Pikmin. I agree, something's wrong. Let's plug it all the ground. Oh, what happened to me? I'm sorry, Spine, but you're a Pikmin now. So, it's a bit hard to tell me that. You're a Pikmin now. But I want to be a Gruffalo again. Too bad. We had to cross you into the onion because you got eaten by the shark. Well, both of us must admit that today's episode was a strange episode, but the beginning of a dramatic season. The shark isn't dead yet, he's just gone, but he's going to be back, He and he will be back, and he's already claimed Spike's life as a buffalo and I think it will take Spike's life as a pigment too but well whatever uh, yes we're underwater surprisingly we don't have sasses and yet we survived that is just because I don't know really wait we're not wearing sasses we admit that. Bye. We'll come back tomorrow in the next episode as a buffalo again. But uh, we will be back with, with. I don't know. Don't worry about us. The next episode, the shark will come back, and Steve will rise him again, and so will the buffalo. Yes, don't worry about us, we are not important, P.P.S. It has been a nice time being in the episodes, now we have to pass it. Stay tuned! <laughs> I know it's kind of sad that we're not going to land from the spike again, but we have to get over it and stop that demon beast, shark beast, whatever. We have to do our best to stop it, right? Oh uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a bull and Pikmin are resting because that's just what it is. Are the cats? Well, whatever, the cat's there just to, you know, watch the fight, I guess. But we know that we're on, this is a diving board and everything underneath is a swimming pool. So, we've got to do our best because when it comes up, we have to be ready for it. Okay, got it. We got it too, we got zombie protection. Oh, don't! He's got wool nut. That's bad. He used to stop us. It took forever for us to eat it, but it doesn't take long with that. Start me. What are we gonna do? We can't just step there. It might cause us to. It might cause our hair to grow bald. We don't have hair. Okay. So maybe we should use this cone head to defeat it. That's a good plan. Yeah. We need to have it entertained for the cat. 
The cup doesn't matter. Now let's you go in. Go. Yeah. He's gone. What are we gonna do? It can't end. It's only the first episode. The episode before was just a plot. We've got to get moving. Let's go! That was worth it. We're down to four, three people. Uh, cool. I'm not scared of cat, but I can't go with the against it. Me have a turn, but you're just a, you're not a big of the others. You might, you know, die forever. It's okay, if you insist. Yeah. Oh no, this is bad, this is bad, this is very, very bad. You must. You think you can handle it, Reggie the Zombie? Of course I can, I think I did. I shot bit my thing, Bob. Okay, loose. Okay, don't put the instead. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, 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 what are we going to do now? I can take it down. Take all the bad guys, well, what are we going to do? That's what we're supposed to do. What you're supposed to do is get the Pikmin army out there so you can defeat that monster. I'm going to have to do that next episode. Bye, guys! That's all, folks. Stay tuned. And for the last time in the season, bye!